Hi everyone, this is Imam. Today I'm gonna try to run some of the oldest game you can think of you know, from Linux. This uh, native games, obviously, but uh, these games uh, it's really hard to run them in uh, latest any 64-bit Linux uh, distribution. The last Ubuntu version um, was capable of running these games 17.04, uh, uh, as I remember because uh, that was the six, last 32 bit uh, one to version uh, it can run so basically what happens with these games uh, like soldier of fortune or you can think of uh, other game like a rune or heavy metal folk uh, these games like uh, from loki id engine games basically uh, became incompatible with the latest Linux distribution because of some libraries and also the driver issues. So basically, what I did was uh, just try to find uh, some compatible library or even compile one uh, to make them work. Uh, that's uh, how it works. So anyway, today I'm gonna try out the Soldier of Fortune, which I have got uh, installed here, as you can see here. So I had the um, I had the disk and uh, I had the ISO file and then I installed the ISO file. Uh, basically, uh, you can you can install if you have the ISO file. You can uh, mount the ISO file with the GCD emu, which is a kind of ISO mounter or CD, CD, CD emulation software. Once you have that, you just load it up. Here you can load it up and then once you load it up it will show up here as a remo removable drive and then you can uh, go with uh, the installation of the Linux version of the game. Because uh, in the old days uh, you had to have the CD mounted in your uh, computer to some of the games uh, would check the CD whether it's mounted or not otherwise it would not run even if you after install them. So same goes with the Linux. Uh, so I have got here Soldier, Soldier of Fortune. So I'm gonna try it run. So what I did here, so it was not working out of the box because like I said, uh, like I mentioned, some of the libraries are not compatible anymore. So basically what I did, uh, I compiled um, some of the compatible library I found. Okay, this is like a libsdl1, uh, this one, uh, once I compile it and then it has started working. And also, uh, and it's working perfectly also, you need um, something called uh, if you have a pipe wire sound pipe wire like a sound system normally nowadays Linux has this uh, new sound system called pipe wire I'm not uh, spelling correctly probably uh, so before we had something called pulse audio so you might have pulse audio or pipe wire in your system I have pipe wire so basically it doesn't matter which one you have um, it still would work as long as you have something called um, OSS uh, PD. So it's like a compatible library for running old games, uh, which uh, uh, old games uh, normally they use something called OSS, uh, which is again a sound system in the old days. So once you have this OSP, uh, OSS PD installed, uh, your uh, programs that is uh, which are using OSS would work with the files wherever. So basically, before I start the game, I have to uh, I have to start that. So basically, you have to start the service for the OSS PD. So uh, on Arch Linux system, you can just uh, type in this command sudo ospd service and then enter and then. And it's activated now. Uh, basically, it's running. So you can start and stop anytime on you. So you can save it the setting. But I'd like to just because I don't play classic games often. So I just start it. Anyway, once uh, I have the OSS system running, then um, what? Uh, like I said, I created this uh, lib SDL so that uh, it works uh, with this classic game, uh, Soldier of Fortune. And then it just started working. Uh, other thing I created is called uh, okay. Probably I should show you instead of talking. If I go here. so basically, if you go to on theme uh, on this side where I have hosted some of these files, uh, so if you go to the gaming downloads, here you can see uh, fixes. So basically, what are these fixes? Are basically 
once you have game uh, once you have the game installed in your system from the CD or wherever then you can download this fix the fix basically contains a couple of files uh, you have to uh, extract the fix into the game folder so it would have this script to run the game basically it's a script to start the game uh, then uh, you would have this file basically in this fix and also you have this file i'll explain what is this file is so basically this file is basically allowing would allow us to run soldier of fortune in higher resolution basically it would uh, pick the desktop resolution uh, normally it didn't have higher resolution support higher than uh, 16 if you just type in um, soldier of fortune soldier or quack because it was built using Quack 2 engine uh, GL mode basically uh, any games that built uh, using Quack 2 engine was able to if I have to just search so had this resolution basically 9 or 10 modes so the maximum resolution it can go up to that so but my desktop resolution is 1080p so what this library would do is once you select this mode in in game then it would switch the game to your desktop resolution whatever it is 1080p 4k so it's great basically it's a wrapper library to uh, allow the game to run in high resolution and again you can find that in the script uh, here okay i have to uh, comment it out so it will preload the library anyway so that's all about it once you have all the setup i uh, uh, should be so few other things before i run so basically i'm gonna run the game um uh, let's see if i run now what happens launch uh, so basically i have to run the script and at the moment is in window mode so i can running in window mode i can go to flip screen like i said uh, we have to select uh, if i go to the home directory where the settings are saved for this and go to locky folder and uh, soldier of fortune config file here i have to find a gl mode we can also do this from the game in game settings uh, most set night so that it picks the largest setting and the it will automatically default to the then i would like to check other settings i think yeah, i'm happy with other things full screen i set it to full screen so full screen mode okay that's all and few other things uh, since i'm using uh, my graphics card is amd and is using gallium gallium driver so i can apply some fancy effect like i can set uh, an uh, anistrophic filtering which is kind of looking make the texture look nice uh, at any angle from far so i can set it to 16 which is the maximum you can have and also i i want to have anti-aliasing so also with the gallium driver you have anti-aliasing uh, support with this kind of environment variable i set it to 8 maximum so even though ga the game doesn't have these features it can force them in game if you if your driver supports uh, i think most drivers support and that using open uh, what is it uh, open gallium driver also we can have gallium hard i think gallium hard which is the fps show would show the fps and that's it and we should launch the game and start how it looks So oh, the game is running at 1080p like I said my desktop is 1080p and it's running at 1080p visual and we are getting about 30 fps as you can imagine it's an old game in those days you didn't have that many so game had kind of frame locking in place and you can see all the settings up to high and you can see the resolution here but the actual resolution is 1080p because of the library that we are using and all good looking good 
Mr. Tropic, uh, let's go and try out this classic Linux game. And I'd like to say uh, it's a good game. I tried a little bit. Um, basically, it's, it's, it's action, <laughs> action violence. <laughs> and as you can see, it's running smoothly and perfectly in the uh, in latest Linux with this. It's no problem. And then we, we have anti-aliasing on the text. Look at the text. Smooth rounded up text because of the anti-aliasing. And we have anisotropic filtering. 16. This isn't a military operation. This isn't a military operation. I can't let you boys go down there. I didn't play this game before. Basically, I, I just tested it a couple of times, but I never passed the, the first level. Doesn't sound like you have a choice, Captain. All right, you win. We don't know what these scumbags are up to down there, but we do know their leader's name. Saber! Saber! The plan's failed! He's talking against... Uh, Whatever it takes, I want those explosives detonated! Soldier of Fortune. Basically, it's, <laughs> it's not for chance. In this game, is, you have to be... I'll meet you at Station 6C. Good luck, Hawk. It's got some... Um... Cards! It's got some uh, environment destruction uh, support. I checked. And I can, but not fully. But it was a, yeah, this is a lot. This is not. So the keys are the keys are the default keys are different than the, any modern game. So you still have W A S D, but uh, to jump you have to press E instead of a spacebar. And with the spacebar you have the action key, which is to open the door or anything like that. Uh, oh. I got the... I got... what is it? I picked up something. So basically if I press the tab here, I, I see this. So I got... I think the heart looks a little bit strange with this kind of resolution because the game has an... The objective is rescue any and all hostages rescue assist any... Okay, to terminate any terrorist. So we got the... Shotgun, I suppose. So you can still use the school mouse. So I like this a little bit. So if the game has this kind of interactive environment, this makes the game 10 times better. So I like the games. So let's go with the shotgun. I was. Just to make sure, <laughs> so that uh, I don't want to hurt anyone. So the, the sound works perfectly with this kind of um, OSPD, OSSPD, I guess, and this support uh, system. So the, the sound works fine with this, I guess, that's because this game is using, this game is using SDL. As the uh, obviously, uh, the sound would work. It's not that old, I mean, it's old, but it's still not that old. Uh, came out in, I'm not quite, I can't remember exactly which year. 
Enlisting is next here. the shift key is kind of like I didn't let him finish his job. What do you do? Well, basically just to make sure everywhere is safe. some huge huge humongous guns oh my god and this is floating floating in the air uh, of course in those days you didn't have the ultimate physics uh, you had low power uh, the CPU was not that powerful I'm surprised this game is using quite a lot from for my I mean re the resources. It's using 17% CPU usage. And even when I run like a high-end game like a Spyro trilogy, it doesn't use that much CPU. Oh, probably because I'm recording the text. Over here! Over here! Basically, what I have is a B-Sync on, that's why the game is locked. I suppose if I didn't have B-Sync, I could have turned out the B-Sync to see the actual performance. I suppose, let's, yeah, let it just run 16. It's okay, I mean, it's quite playable. 16. There's nothing wrong with 60. Unless you are trying. Game scope, uh, Valve game scope to run the game in 4K, like using the super sampling technique. But I think you can edit it for this game. I mean, it doesn't matter if you even run in 4K. It's not gonna improve the graphics. Like the margin will be minimal. Um, we are already applying uh, anti-aliasing. I mean, it should be okay. You don't need 4K for it's not gonna do much. I suppose the shotgun doesn't have precision for long distance. press C button to sit down and get in here. Obviously this is the thing. 
more people coming. Oh yeah, the, the gate is open so I can just follow the gate. I'm ruthless, I know. Like those games where you never die, doesn't matter what you do. Like, hopefully, this game is not like that. I like the, the balance where you die, but not so quickly, also, you never die. I mean, <laughs> basically, you need to have a little bit of reality. Unless you have that, you never enjoy it. If it's fully cut on, unrealistic, and magical, you never enjoy it. It's too easy, there's no challenge here. What is my life anyway? To go through the tunnel, we are not afraid of the incoming thing. It's a bit scary. Okay, there's no pain. I 
guy was coming into crossfire. Kill it anyway. Uh, I don't mind. So I just have to. Yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.